An update now to a story News Nation has been tracking for more than a year now. Large portions of America's farmland owned by China. Chinese efforts to buy American land, often near military bases, prompting new concerns now on both sides of the aisle. News Nation's Emily Finn joining us now. Emily, what are these candidates saying? Well, Natasha, you're right. News Nation has extensively covered China's efforts to buy up American farmland, and now it's rising to the highest levels of elected state offices across the U.S., predominantly here in the heartland. This is becoming a top campaign issue for Republicans and Democrats alike as tensions around the world remain high amid global turmoil. I'm Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch, who's playing hardball to prevent China from acquiring critical Indiana land. Launching a gubernatorial bid in Indiana, the Hoosier State's Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch mentions China's efforts to purchase American farmland in her latest campaign ad, making it a top issue in the race. Let me be perfectly clear. China is not our friend. As Lieutenant Governor, she oversees the state's Department of Agriculture, mentioned her efforts to thwart a Chinese company from buying up tens of thousands of acres of land near a military installation. When I saw that land next to our military sites, Naval Crane Warfare Center, could be bought up, I stopped it. It's not only about food security, but it's about national security. We don't want to be dependent on other foreign countries for what we eat. Crouch's top rival for governor, Republican Senator Mike Braun, is running on his efforts in Congress to introduce a bipartisan bill to crack down on this very problem. It would prohibit persons owned by, controlled by, or subject to the jurisdiction of China, Iran, North Korea, and Russia from owning or leasing American agricultural land. This isn't a topic coming up on the campaign trail in Indiana alone. In at least four states across the U.S., candidates on both sides of the aisle who have announced gubernatorial bids are shining a light on foreign adversaries buying up American farmland and the threats that poses to residents of their state. News Nation has been dedicated to covering similar stories across the U.S. of Chinese companies attempting to purchase land, especially near military bases. In Michigan, protesters pressed city officials for trying to make a deal to sell land for a CCP-linked electric vehicle battery plant. In North Dakota, community pushback ultimately put a stop to a Chinese project to build on land near Grand Forks Air Force Base. Over in Montana this election year, the state's sitting governor, Greg Gianforte, announced his re-election bid, running on a record of banning countries like China and Russia from purchasing agricultural land during his time in office. In a statement to News Nation, Gianforte's office says, quote, now is the time for bold, decisive action to defend our national interests. The Montana that I love and that my kids have been raised in is being threatened. Right now. Even his Democrat rival for governor, Ryan Bussey, tells News Nation this is an issue both parties agree on. We should be protecting our national security all the time. And obviously, uh, about, about a year ago right now, we had a Chinese balloon, spy balloon, fly right over the middle of Montana. I think that it is a bipartisan thing, and I'm, I'm in favor of um, banning foreign adversaries from owning our farmland, absolutely. And yes, I think there's some national security implications, but again, I think it's a, it's a basic food security thing. The USDA reports nearly 384,000 acres of agricultural land in the U.S. is already owned by the Chinese, Natasha. Okay, it's such an issue, and we appreciate you highlighting it again. Emily Finn, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.